So today's the day I'm going to pick up my new car. This is the old one. I just need to check that I've got everything out of it. Which I'm going to do now. Got some bits and pieces in there, but that's a good start. I can't even open it. Where's the key? I've forgotten the key. Right, I've got the key. Now I can open it. Just need to remove this rubbish. Uh, stuff like that. And then we'll all be ready to go pick up the new car. What they don't know is this tyre is low. I haven't had it repaired. I'll pump it up before I go into the garage. Won't tell them. All empty. But here's one thing I need to remove. Peterborough College parking thing. Need to take that. Okay, here is the new car. Well, first of all, it's a lovely colour and it is huge, much bigger than I realised, but it's a lovely car. What a silly thing to say, much bigger than I realised. Of course, I knew how big it was, but actually, compared to the C3, the C5 is much bigger. 19 inch alloy wheels, which are good. And over here, keyless entry with the wing mirrors that come out as well, which is nice. It's also got a lovely sound to it. The door's got lovely. Anyway, moving on in. It's uh, automatic, full electronic dash, no dials. It's an electronic display there. And you can see what it's saying. Uh, get everything you need, I think. And it's got automatic, which I'm still getting used to. And this is a bit weird. It's got parking, automatic parking brake here. So it's got a P for park there, and it's got a P for park over here as well. So that's a bit confusing. I need to get used to that, but it, I managed fine. Because it's automatic, uh, when you start off, the parking brake comes off automatically. So that's good. Uh, Eco, I've not tried, don't know what that does. And Sport, I haven't tried that, don't know what that does. Huge space for your phone here with a USB connector for Apple CarPlay. I'm not sure, but I think this might be a charging mat as well, but I won't be using that because my phone's in a car uh, carrier, so it wouldn't charge through there anyway. So, just close the door. Uh, we've got uh, cruise control here. Um, and cruise limit and it's adaptive as well so you can set the gap here with this between you and the car in front and if the car slows down this car will slow down and if the car, the car speeds up this car will speed up automatic lights here which I love uh, automatic windscreen wipers and down here it's got some uh, extra stuff it's got this lane control thing here so um, if you drift it will try and steer back into the lane, which is a little bit disconcerting when that happens to me for the first time. So I need to get used to that. The boot, the boot is massive, absolutely massive. Uh, and they gave me this sort of um, shopping bag that you can put your shopping in, which is good. And it's got Velcro, so it sticks. So I need to just have a little play with that and move that into position. Um, also, it's got this here. I have no idea what that is. It's a funny plasticky thing. I don't know what that does. Fits in that space down there. Oh, there's another thing down there as well. I've got that as well. What on earth could that be? Looks like a tool. Don't know what that is. And then there's another gap on that side as well. Mm. Interesting. Right, let's have a look to see what's underneath here. Lift this up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, look at that. 
Well, that can't be right. There's no spare at all. There's nothing. Well, can that be right? There's no compressor, there's no nothing. Well, I'm going to have to go in the garage, aren't I? To find out what's going on there. Vast empty space. Ooh. Oh well. All good fun. Right, I figured it out. It's actually quite straightforward. Underneath, you can take this whole box off. And um, this is a compressor, which a lot of cars have nowadays. You just plug it in to your 12 volt socket uh, and away you go. So that's all good. I'm not quite sure what this bit is here. And obviously a leather toe thing. Not sure what that is. But yeah, so it's all here. Uh, hopefully I'll never have to use it, but who knows. Right, if we go around to the front. I really do like the headlight design. And the um, bonnet's got like these sculpted two areas on each side that's just sculpted out which is a bit weird let's lift the bonnet and have a look to see what's inside first things first I can tell you that bonnet is really heavy to lift really heavy uh, here we have 1.2 three three cylinder 1.2 130 brake horsepower turbo charge apparently uh, washer fluid over there, that's what I needed to know. But yeah, all looks <laughs> brand new, doesn't it? Of course it does. Fills in the space. Fills the space quite nicely. Nothing to see except lots of pipes and cables. But yeah, that's the bonnet. That's not the bonnet, it's that's the engine. And finally, what looks like it's turning into a review of a car. Uh, at the back, we have three seats, obviously. But these are quite clever. You, they, they're adjustable backwards and forwards, which is good. This is as far back as they go. Uh, and you've also got this here. Pull that, and it folds down completely like that so you've got three individual seats that you can fold down separately but not only that if I try and do this a bit awkward if I um, just pull this one on this seat here you can adjust them back can you see how it's going so not only can you adjust them to come forward all the way forward like, like that you can adjust them so that they're sitting back as well so You've got quite a lot of control. So you can see here, there's this gap here because this seat here is now sitting further back than the the one in the middle. Yeah, very clever. Uh, and finally, heat vents and one USB socket, 